Okay, so we're gonna be, you can see the waterfront right there, right? So we're gonna be coming out of this parking garage and then we're going to um, kind of navigate and see where we go. We'll just leave the camera on for a little bit and then you can see a little bit of Macau. So, um, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm the content creator for this channel. If you like what I'm doing, just subscribe. And hit the like button. Okay, so um, this is uh, Patani, where we're starting out. And we're gonna try to navigate all the way to Taipa. So we'll see how that works out for us. Um, yeah. We'll keep the camera on just so you can see a little bit of Macau and um, kind of how it's all... Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to navigate northward and catch this one bridge and then I'll just take the camera with me so you can kind of see just the way that it's kind of set up a little bit at night time. And I don't know how long I'm going to film so we'll just see, we'll see how it goes and see what looks interesting. Um, yeah, this is the Patane area. Uh, Matane, you can look it up on a map, but it's kind of like the, there's an inner harbor right there. There's some boats that park into the left, but you can't see it because there's a little bit of construction and um, they're remodeling the landscape a little bit. But that's where that would be. And I'm just going to keep going north, so I'm just going to see where we can, what we can get into here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is try to look for this uh, entrance to this one bridge, but it's way on the other side of um, Macau. Um, other side meaning um, we're on the west side and it's on the east side. But trying to navigate there might be a little bit of a challenge so I'm going to keep the camera on and just see what we can find. And uh, you can see lots of interesting stuff like right here a bunch of people double park so they block in the other traffic on the other line lane. And I think maybe what I'll do is I'll move into that oh so yeah I better not because we often double park so I'll have to get back into this lane anyways. Um, Let's see if we can see some more double parking. It looks like this white van is double parked, blocking that lane. So yeah, good thing I didn't get in that lane, right? These pedestrian crossing ways are a little bit dangerous because a lot of people, they have the right of way. So when that, when that person illegally parks like that in front of the crosswalk, it's easy to not see somebody. So somebody could pop out of the car and you're cruising along. Yeah, driving is a little bit of a challenge mostly because of all the um, there's not enough parking spaces so it takes a long time to find a parking space and then because of that situation a lot of people are um, they double park and yeah so anyways this is Patane so we're going to um, I'm going to try to keep driving up to, towards the border and um, it's like we're kind of stuck at the moment you get to see you get to experience the frustrations of real-time driving it's always fun. But it looks like we're going to be moving along here in a second, so I'm not sure why we're stopping. I guess the, the other lane to the right also, they're all moving quite ahead, so then if a walker goes across that, then they have to stop for that walker. So I guess that's kind of what's happening here. So this should be a time when I can go right now. So yeah, so now everybody from this side is kind of getting across, myself included, but there's more pedestrians straight ahead. And now we're free to move. Yes. If I can, I'd like to get around this car. But looks like that's not going to happen. Okay, this is actually good because we're going to get into this big mess of stuff over here, which might be interesting for the camera. Let's see how this works out for us. Let me get over in this lane. So I can, I have a couple options. I could either go left, and I think left is north, or I can go straight, and I think straight goes all the way to, um, um, goes to the other side, and I can catch a way to get to Taipa that way. So I can either go straight and right, or I can go um, north. If I go north, basically what happens is I can catch these kind of bridges that go all the way around to Taipa basically go around the peripheral part. But I think what we'll do is we'll just keep going this way. 
I think for the camera, it's maybe more interesting to go this way. I watch this, there's a guy like parked right there illegally. He almost walked right into my car. There's another guy who's walking. The pedestrians do have the right of way, but sometimes they jump out in front of you uh, before the crosswalk, so that's not good, right? Okay, so it looks like we're gonna um, just go straight. And I'm gonna try to catch this uh, road that goes to Typo over on the other side. So basically it's um, straight ahead, more or less. And we're gonna have a bunch of stoplights. So we'll, um, we'll keep the camera on. You can kind of see what it's like to drive around in this part. Um, we were in Patane, now we're kind of in this area called, um, I don't know the name, so sh I'm not sure what the name is in English. They don't really use the name so much over here, but it's um, Gosida. In Chinese, it's like I, I'm not pronouncing it how Chinese would say it, but Gosida basically. So we're gonna we're going towards Gosida. Mongha is not too far from here either. Um, if you don't know Macau, that might not have any meaning to you, but basically Mongha is like this um, little hill. So you got some amazing views of Macau from up on the hillside. Um, actually, if we're really close, I wouldn't mind going up there. Um, I think we are as well. Uh, we'll see. I'm not sure which way I'll do. That could be interesting in its own way because I could drive up the hill a little bit and have you get some views and I could do some footage up there at nighttime, which might be interesting too. Um, um, but I don't know if I'm near Meng Ha. I don't know if I'm... It's a little hard to get to. It's hard to navigate to it. So if I see this one street that I'm familiar with that I usually take, I'll go up that hill. If not, I'll just keep going straight. Actually, I'll probably just go straight, but um, because I think I just saw that Mongha need to be on the other street, and then if I go past it, it's hard to get back to it. So we just keep going down the street. Yep. Oh, maybe I still could. I'll tell you what, we'll try. So I think I can go to Mongha on one of these streets here. Not 100% sure. But Mongha is basically straight ahead, but getting on Mongha is hard. This is a little bit messy. So we're kind of stuck. Yeah, so actually you can see this is a two lane road, but a lot of people are blocking a lot of the roads here. So people walk in front. It's all kinds of stuff happening here. And that road I was hoping to get to, it looks like I can't get on it anyways. So that means that I have to abort that mission. And I think I have to just turn around. Yeah, I do. So I can't go any further. So yeah, that's one of the challenges of being in Macau is um, you get running, you have little dead end roads, and some roads are one way, and then the two ways are there's all kinds of people blocking it vehicles, people walk down the middle of the street, all kinds of stuff. And it looks like the Mongha I needed to, if I took a, if I would have taken a right, a block over, then I could have got up there and um, could have got a little footage up on top of the mountain and things like that. But I think because um, it's a little bit of a challenge to get go back that way, I think I'll just um, go back continue on towards Taipa, which is what I was originally going to do anyways. Okay, so um, we're back. That dead end took us nowhere. So yeah, this taxi is going to park right there. Nice. So I guess I'll try to go around the taxi if I can. Okay, got around him. Okay, good. To the left is a computer store. It's just closed, it looks like. So yeah, a lot of people are blocking the left lane, as you can see. Um, I could actually go to the right. I could get into some density. If it's Maybe it's interesting to see a little density. I don't know if it's interesting at nighttime or not. Uh, we'll, just, we'll just keep driving down this road. I'll take a right. If I can, I'll take a right. Might as well just show you whatever I can show you, right? So yeah, this is um, Gosida. 
we're stuck at a stoplight. And soon we'll be moving though shortly. Yeah, this area is, um, there's some, um, basically a lot of density in this area. Um, all the Macau side has a lot of density. So Taipa does too in uh, Taipa Village in the central part. Um, Taipa is a second island, so you have to go through some bridges to get there. Okay. Moving right along. So yeah, I think I will try to take a ride if I can. Oh, there's a pedestrian here. There's a person that's going to cross here. Thank you. It's going to let me go, but I got more pedestrians here. And I see a right, so I'm going to take a right down this lane so you can see a little bit of the density. There's another pedestrian. They're kind of slowly taking their time. And they got a little baby, so I don't mind that if they're taking their time like that. So I'm going to try to go this way. Let's see if I can get around. I can because there's pedestrians over there, so they have to slow down there. And we're going to go straight. So yeah, this is like, these are our one ways. And, um, and we're kind of going up towards Kyungwu. So I kind of want to go up that way anyways. It's, it's good. Camera wise, it's good because these, these streets are a little bit more, more narrow. So you can see more of the, um, uh oh, this car looks like they're undecided what they're going to do. They come back into the lane at the last second and they're okay. There's a parking shop to the right. Somebody's going to park right there illegally. Um, not sure where they're going. They're just blocking traffic a little bit, but not too bad because if we can get around them, sometimes you can't. More pedestrians. Nobody's jumping out of there. Okay, good. We can keep on moving. And we're kind of going to go up towards Kyungwu and I'm going to navigate. I was going to go, there's a lot of different ways I could go, right? So I'm just kind of um, going as we go with what I think might be interesting for the camera. And the street is, is good because it's nice and narrow. There's definitely more narrow roads for sure. Got some pedestrians coming, so be kind to the pedestrians because I'm often a pedestrian myself. Okay. We're heading up. I think later I'm going to take a left, but I'm going to just keep going up. We're kind of going towards Kyungwu right now. Kind of, we are. Kyungwu is a hospital, so there's a it's the it's the biggest hospital in Macau, and it's um it's the one that people usually have the insurance for. You know, like the private ones, they might not be able to afford them, but Kyungwu is. Uh... <laughs>